Well, guys, as most don't know, because the media aren't really reporting it, the Rona Act 2020 is being renewed today. This means MPs will sell out your freedom for another six months to a government that's making it so they're essentially coerced into voting for it. This is the temporary legislation that was created last year when they said it would be three weeks to flatten the curve, not the 575 days to flatten the country and your freedoms it has become. But even ignoring that fact, as I mentioned earlier, politicians like Tory backbenchers are bullied into voting for this because the entire act ends in two days if they don't. This means that the government and its ministers will be out there in force going for all the media saying that the politicians behind them didn't do this, they're trying to let their constituents die and all of that bollocks. I expect that is why the vote was quietly delayed from the 30th of September up until today. They used a 21 day grace period to go over the expiry date last month and force the vote today where no reworking can be done. It's obviously a deliberate act to avoid parliamentary scrutiny, amendments and pretty much anything as we've seen throughout. All MPs can do today is piss and whine about it which is what we're gonna see. At this point it's almost guaranteed to pass and most people ain't even gonna notice that it's happened. They won't notice that for another six months the government can essentially do what it wants. Now it should be pointed out that a few provisions have been removed but as you know the whole thing should be removed in its entirety. At the end of the day they've overachieved their original goals and moved the goalpost what 10 times now so in my mind there is no argument anyone can make for them keeping it. Though to be honest I thought there was no argument for them keeping it for a long time now as I've said. Obviously though they don't care about any of that because it's not about health as we've said before. It's all about control power and much much more. Now I'm not entirely sure what time the debate is actually going to take place but I might go live when it does and see what crap they come out with if I can. I mean someone should be doing it considering the media ain't going to bother reporting on it until it's done. This is obviously a piss take but then again it's kind of par for the course when it comes to them ain't it.